When it rains, I come. When it snow, I come. When it's windy, I come. Every day, no matter how the weather is. Because they're waiting. No matter what time it is, they're waiting. Come on, guys, we gotta eat. Come. What do people call you? They call me the Willie the Cat Man. They hear my voice. Come on, Papa, eat this one. And they, everybody comes. Do you feel like these cats have become your family here? No, they, be, they become, they need me, you know? They and need I, you. They need me, so I come. That's why I come every day. Mama, come on, Tiny. Well, the feral cat, they're hungry all the time. Every <laughs> the time I come, they're hungry. They're feral because somebody dumped them out there, you know what I mean? And they, the first one born there, and then they keep born in the same spot. Sometimes you get 15 cats in one summer. How many cats do you think that you feed every night? I would say 50 cats at night time. It used to be more. I do 17 stops every night. I finish at 11 o'clock at night time. Do you do it 365 I don't days a year? I don't miss a day. What I, would happen to these cats if you weren't feeding them? The, they would starve to death. They would start wandering around. I feed them at this time because they, when they get a stomach full and in the daytime, nighttime, they, at night they don't have to go wander around looking for rats and get something to eat, you know. They don't feel un hungry, you know. So I come, if it's windy, I come, if it's snow, I come, if it's 15 degrees outside, I come. I get to pick this guy up every day and hug him and tell him that I love him. <laughs> the feral cats don't trust people. They always, they're always afraid because they got no human contact when they were born, you know, they, they're always hiding in the shadow, so they, they, they don't trust anybody. Little by little with the food, you know, you can gain the trust. Because when I'm driving, I see a feral cat that's very skinny, and I know they want food, so I open a can of food, I pop the top and I go like this, like a frisbee, you know, I spin around on the, on the side of the street, and when I go around the block, he, he, the cat is already eating, you know? So that's what I do. Are you hungry? We domesticated them, and then we bring mm. it to a house, and when they don't work out, we got to move. Come on, mama. If they get sick, we throw them outside. It's, it's like a piece of furniture, you know what I mean? To me, I want to treat them, you know, that they need help, and I keep giving help. You hungry? Come on. How Come. long have you been doing this for? How long? I started in 1995, up to now. I would say 25 years. How many stops did you have at the beginning when you started this years ago? I thought with three or four, they keep adding up. I keep driving around and finding more, you know? And now you're up to 17. 17 stop. People got to know, you know, they, they, they have to fix them. They have to spay and neuter, you know. So I do it free. Some people call me at my house, at my phone. Uh, they got a problem with cat. I go over there and I, I, I pay for everything. And I go, I pick up the cat, I, I bring it back, put it down. They don't have to pay me anything. <laughs> they get spay and neuter because there's no more babies, you know. At the beginning, it was tough to collect money. They love this stuff. Uh, every 10 days, I got to spend about $300 with the cat food. As long as I got money to buy the cat food for dinner, I feel rich, you know? Because my kids all grown up, my mortgage is all paid for, I don't have nothing to work. I got my pension, I work. The cat meal that I collect. This is what the money is, but it takes time to make, you know? I got to clean it up. It's a lot of work. <laughs> People call me because they don't know what I do with this, for the cat. Most of the garages, they give me a lot of scrap metal, and then I go sell it. It's about five pounds, maybe $44 for it. Come in here. When are you going to stop? Until I die, because I, I made a commitment to my father in heaven that I, that, that I would take care of the animals, and that's what I'm doing, you know? If I, let me, if I stop doing it, I let him down. Okay. It made me feel good that something doing something for them, you know? Not for me, maybe it look good and just for them because they really need the help, not me. God give me everything I need.